YOLO, my fellow human beings, and welcome to episode 67 of The Best Blessed Life. I'm your best host, Kristen, and today's topic is what I've learned. Yeek. That could be any number of things. Um, but before we get started, I want to thank you all for watching. Please continue to watch, comment, share, like, subscribe, ring the bell, and please pass them on to anyone you think that they could help. With that being said, I've been gone for a really long time. I think it's been three weeks. I'm not quite sure if it's officially three weeks, but I, I do believe so. So we have a lot of positive words from the weeks to cover. Um, I also have a dessert done differently today. And you, you lucky people get to kind of hear what I've learned. Um, so I was on a trip to Denver to visit Jordan. And um, so uh, I'm gonna give you a little bit of highlights on that, but uh, I am waiting for photos and a little bit of video from Peyton, who was my navigator slash DJ slash ride or die with my bunny. Leo came with us. Um, and so therefore, uh, I have a lot to talk about. Hopefully this won't take long. And I see right now that I have not gotten the ingredients ready for the icing. So in the meantime, while we're waiting for this to bake, I'm gonna put those together, but I didn't really do that. Um, so let's go over the positive words from the three weeks I was gone, and then we'll go from there. I'm gonna try to read them as quickly as possible. We'll see what happens. So the 15th of Friday was lucky, a force that brings good fortune, having or marked by good luck fortunate or blessed. Uh, Saturday, sunshine, cheerfulness, smiling and happy, warm like a ray of sun. 17th, Sunday, nurture, care for and encourage the growth or development of, take care of someone or something. The 18th was nature, phenomena of the physical world collectively, including plants, animals, the landscape, and all other earthly products, natural scenery. Tuesday the 19th was affirmation, emotional support or encouragement, confirming something to be true. Wednesday the 20th is camaraderie, mutual trust and friendship among people who spend a lot of time together, loyalty among friends. Uh, Thursday the 21st was awesome, causing or inducing awe, inspiring an overwhelming feeling of reverence or admiration. Uh, the 22nd was wise, responding sensibly or shrewdly to a particular situation. The 23rd was Saturday, the contentment, and I, this is a duplicate, so I'm kind of working on a way to cover some of the duplicates. I have a whole list that I go through before I write them down and apparently I'm blind. So I'm gonna have to figure out a better way to do this. But contentment is a state of happiness and satisfaction, completely happy. Uh, Sunday the 24th was art, the expression of human creative, creative skill and imagination. The various branches of creative activities such as painting, music, literature, or dance. I would say more art not just painting. Um, 25th is silly, old English meaning happy or blessed, innocent or frivolous. Tuesday the 26th was welfare, the state of doing well, especially in respect to good fortune, happiness, well-being, or prosperity. Uh, 27th is memories, to live and capture the great moments of life. The 28th was Thursday, lion-hearted, brave and determined, courageous. 29th was blossom, to develop and grow, become stronger, pleasantness, goodness, and sweetness of life. Uh, 30 was affectionate, readily feeling or showing fondness or tenderness, warm and loving. Uh, May 1st was sentimental, prompted by feelings of tenderness or nostalgia. Uh, the second was home, Monday, a safe haven and a comfort zone, a place to build memories. The third was Tuesday, champion, to act as militant supporter of, uphold and advocate for always. Wednesday was hugs, an essential form of physical touch humans rely on from birth on, to express love, intimacy, security, emotional support or friendship. And today is nestle, settle or lie comfortably against or within something or someone, to press closely and affectionate. All right, I didn't do too bad on that. That was only a little less than a couple, two, three minutes. All right, 
So I don't know if this dinner, dessert done differently, but I thought it was kind of fun. I got it from a friend on Facebook. Um, I don't think it's her recipe, but shout out to Teresa Bexon for posting this on Facebook. I'm actually making one of your recipes that I keep claiming I'm going to do. So I also made the lemon Oreo balls at the, the um, oven. Hello. I made the lemon Oreo balls for my son. I did, uh, did it, Jordan. I did a little differently because um, I only had golden Oreos, so I made a little concoction of lemon juice, lemon zest, and some sugar, and I just dipped the golden Oreo ball in there and then coated it with the candy. I made a lot of Oreo, I guess they're Oreo truffles, Oreo balls. I made a um, Java chip Oreo ball. I also made, um, I took the golden Oreos and um, made, dipped them in a strawberry mixture similar to the lemon. And then I dipped them in the vanilla candy coating and then after that they were just kind of just blah. And they really, the, because of the strawberry um, kind of liquid, liquidy sensation to it, the um, candy, vanilla candy coating didn't stick very well. So we, I ended up dipping them in chocolate. And so it was like a, I'm going to try and get this right, strawberry cheesecake, uh, uh, chocolate. I'm going to get this right. <laughs> it was like a chocolate dipped strawberry cheesecake. Ah, oh, I did it. Okay, I'm done with that. So I made some lovely desserts and um, today is no exception, I hope. Um, but here's the, it's called the best ever strawberry cake. And here's the directions. And you know the asterisks mean that I'm going to substitute. Oh, yeah, the light. So it's one box of cake, white cake mix. And it should say mix. And I th think I was worried about it, like, taking up too much space. And then three tablespoons of plain flour. Uh, that darn light. Uh, one three ounce box of strawberry jello three quarters of a cup of oil, two cups fresh or frozen pureed strawberries. Um, so one cup is for the cake and one cup is for the icing. Four eggs, and then you're gonna combine the cake mix, the flour, the jello, and the water. And I forgot to put water on here, it's a half a cup of water. Um, we're gonna mix that all together. And then we're gonna add the eggs one at a time and add strawberries, beat slowly, yada, 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 you get the rest. Okay, so to substitute for the white cake mix, I have yellow. To substitute the three tablespoons of plain flour, I'm using one tablespoon of coconut flour because the ratios are different. So it's a, a quarter of the flour if you're using um, coconut flour. So a quarter of that ratio would technically be three quarters of a tablespoon, but I just went full, full tablespoon. Um, the three ounces of box jello, I actually, I'm using sugar free. Uh, what are the other asterisks? Oh, the oil, instead of regular oil, I'm using coconut oil, so I'm going to have to melt this. And, um, I don't know what that was. Anyway. Nothing bad. And then the four eggs are, uh, of course, Greek yogurt, and it's one, a quarter of a cup per egg. So I used one cup of Greek yogurt. They also say if you're using coconut flour that you should institute using another egg, but I really do think I have enough. So, um, in, and the other thing I'm not doing is I'm not pureeing my strawberries because I want a little bit more texture, but I am going to mash them with a potato masher and get as much of that crushed up as possible. So the first part of the recipe is to dump the cake mix, the jello, the flour, and the water together and mix. So that's where we're headed first. Um, this trip was a fun trip. Uh, it was just me and the kids. Uh, I had a great time considering it was almost Mother's Day. It was nice to spend it with both my kids in the same place. <laughs> Um, Jordan got me this beautiful national championship DU hockey sweatshirt as my Mother's Day gift. I love it. And Peyton got me this really cute. I don't know if you all know about Smash, Smash, Smash Mellows? Smash, 
I don't know what they're, I think it's not Schnazzmet. I can't even say it, Peyton, so sorry. Um, she got me this cute little stuff, stuffy smash mellow. That is a cup of coffee, iced cup of coffee with a straw and whipped cream on the top. And it's called, it says on it, Mom Fuel, which is like, you know, perfect. Okay. So thank you guys. I had a great time. Thanks, Bunny, for being decent for everyone. Okay, this is our Jello. We went to a lot of places. We went to Jordan's work at the Denver Art Museum. That was an overwhelming time. There's so much there. Ugh, I got lost. I would say they got lost, but it was really me. Um, this is our one uh, tablespoon of coconut flour. And then this is our half a cup of water. And we're gonna mixy mixy, right? That's all I gotta do? Just says combine, so. That is what I'm doing. I, th I mean, there's so many floors total. I mean, one building has seven floors, seven. And then the other one, I don't know, two or three, I can't even remember. I know Jordan told me and probably sitting there going, ah, I told you how many, oh my gosh, this smells good already. <laughs> um, I'm not sure why they make it important for you to use a white cake. I'm thinking maybe because it just pronounces the color a little more, but I'm not having a problem with this at all. And I don't know, I've never in my life, I think, purchased a white cake mix ever. I think it's always been yellow or at least, or at the most, butter yellow, because that's my favorite. Okay. I'm going to say I could probably use a little more water because it's still a little dry. And that could be because of my coconut flour, so I'm not too worried about it. The other thing I was thinking that would be great, instead of just using regular water, would have been, to, of course, to add another flavor element and use a, a juice of some sort. Um, I did All I have was apple, and I did not want this to have an apple-y um, flavor to it. So, if you have strawberry juice in your house, or even what would be great is their strawberry Fanta Cola pop. Not cola, I guess it's not really a cola. But um, that would be awesome too, because it would uh, probably, you know, be like making a Coca-Cola cake. Okay, got that marked down for next time. Remember guys, okay. So I think what I'm gonna do is probably add not even a teaspoon of water. I just want this little bit of dryness in my cake mix to not be so, I mean, I literally did a trickle, so pronounced. Okay, that worked wonders, perfect. And I'm gonna show you in a second what it looks like. Um, oh, wow, it's really stiff. Okay, so that's what it looks like. I don't know why my colors are so off today. Yep. Okay. Okay, then we're going to add the oil, which I'm going to have to microwave for a few minutes. Tree here. Let's see what happens after, let's say, 30 seconds. Just to see where we're at. I don't want the oil exploding everywhere. Okay. Or I'm wearing cake everywhere. <laughs> oh, can you tell I haven't done this in a while? Okay, next, I don't need these anymore. In this bowl, I have my two cups of strawberries and I have a measuring cup over here so when I'm done, I can, I got leaves in here. I think that's what was in my coconut oil, was a strawberry leaf. Okay, so I'm mashing. And again, I am of the persuasion, and I don't know many people out there that say this out loud, but I like lumpy mashed potatoes. And I like lumpy because I like to know that they're real potatoes. And when they don't have lumps, so I know the same persuasion when it comes to things like this. Like, I want to know there's real fruit in there. 
you know, I don't want it to look like jam because I could have just jab, grabbed jam out of the fridge. I want to thank our hostesses this past week, uh, Jordan and Bob and Jocelyn. They're great. I love them all to pieces. So thank you, thank you, thank you. You guys are the best. And my snacks aren't even a thank you enough. Okay, we're getting somewhere. We've got some good juice going. Nice. I'm standing here as I'm standing here smiling. I have the worst cramp in my hip right now. Okay, gonna keep going. Smashy, smashy. It's weird how much I'm worried that I don't have enough strawberry now that I've mashed them up because it was two cups before I smashed. And I think it's supposed to be two cups of pureed strawberries. So we might have a little bit of a problem. Because, you know, there's less volume now that they're do have some blueberries we can add for sure. All right. Um, let's see how we're doing on there. Nope, still not melted. Okay. So this is what it looks like now. See? And I'm going to pour. more worried about the actual cake part having enough strawberries than the actual icing because I feel like if I have enough juice that that should be plenty. Give it a little bit. I need a little bit more. And I got about a half a cup for the icing. See, I think that's plenty. Come on, get in there. <laughs> I'm trying to help out as, myself as much as possible. Yeah, that's a cup. Okay. Spinny, spinny. All right, oil. Oh, it's killing me. So now we know. All right, now we're supposed to do the eggs one at a time. Let me see, I have my little. No, that's the big. Oh, yes, All right, so they're each supposed to be a quarter of a cup. So I'm going to take my quarter cup. And just kind of eyeball it. I mean, it's all going in there eventually, so I don't really care if I don't get, I just want them separated a little bit. Okay. This, this part here, without even adding the eggs or the um, oil, would be a good way to do like a, a cake bottom or if you ever have done like a gooey bar it's similar it'd be really stiff it might cook more like a cookie I mean you probably have to add some liquid but let's see how we're doing with our oil yeah we're close enough I don't want to put it in there when it's super hot it's not like I have real egg though so I don't have to worry about it that's the nice thing about not using egg, is that um, you can take this places. You don't even really have to bake it, if you think about it. I mean, the oil might be a little odd, but um, there's nothing in here as of, I mean, the yogurt, yeah, I mean, eventually, but it'll hold up a lot longer than, like, eggs would. It's going to change the color of our um, cake, but I'm okay with that. If you're not okay with that, go ahead and cook with the egg, or bake with the eggs. Okay. That one got a little bit more of liquid. Now, the other thing I might be a little bit worried about, because yogurt has such a sour flavor, is, and the the uh, 
strawberries are a little sour. And I used sugar-free Jello pudding. I'm gonna say we might need to add just a little bit of sweetness. Oh my gosh, this smells so good though. Okay, it's just making it a lighter pink. I don't have a problem with it. Actually, I just tasted it. It's not, oh my gosh, it has a nice sweetness to it actually. Okay, let me get this scraped out of here. Actually, it's very sweet. What in there that was so sweet? You would think the, the yogurt really would have dulled that a lot, but I guess the cake mix has sugar in it, so I guess I shouldn't worry about it. Okay, uh, that's a little there because I'm just going to scoop this out of here now. If I can. Get in there. This is what happens when you use Tupperware. Maybe I should use glass to put the ingredients in because it seems like it sticks a lot more to the Tupperware than I would like. Okay, so we're getting our last egg in there. Also, you can substitute like um, applesauce for eggs. Oh, you know what I do, I might have is a baby food with strawberry in it that I can add to the frosting maybe. I also experimented with making a banana bread with baby food. Um, but nobody got to taste it because it <laughs> got moldy. I made it too far in advance. That's the other thing you gotta remember. Either package it, I just assumed I would be okay with just packaging it and now this is supposed to be, I might measure this out because it's supposed to be um, three quarters of a cup of oil and oil works out to be equal parts. So you definitely want to substitute the same amount and I just want to make sure that I wasn't over greasing and look at that oh my goodness <laughs> it's three quarters of a cup okay so this is what's going in place of regular oil which just to me gets me a little nervous because it seems so like a lot of oil Okay, I'm not sure how I feel about this much oil in this cake, guys. Remember, I'm making this for the first time with you. So, remember, my experiment could be going horribly wrong. Horribly wrong. Horribly, horribly wrong. And I feel like I don't, I don't know if I want to do three quarters of a cup. I really don't. I realize it's supposed to have more of a liquidy thing to it. Alright, I'm going to do a little more. And then I'm going to hold off. And I'm going to add my strawberries and I'm going to see. Because it doesn't hurt to cut oil. I mean, hello. Let's just say, what, what's this the cake mix say you're supposed to add? A half a cup. So I'm going to do, <laughs> yeah, I think we can cut that oil up, guys. That seems like an awful lot. I mean, I realize there's strawberries that have to go in here, but I'd rather have, you know, I don't know. And maybe the oil is supposed to help with the, um, I might need more flour is the other thing why I don't have to add as much oil because I didn't do okay so I'm putting the strawberries in there I'm jumping a step because I'm supposed to beat this for two minutes and again I'm not the person that wants to make the strawberries disappear so I'm not really sure if two minutes seems like a lot and I'm gonna see what happens to my cake now that I've added the strawberries if I'm gonna need more flour trying to remember what a cake mix mix a cake mix a cake mix is supposed to look like um, oh, 
tastes like for that matter. Um, and because of the four eggs that I've added, I feel like I could add a little bit more flour, but I don't know. I'm trying to pay attention to the times to make sure I mix. It says beat for two minutes, so I'm assuming they mean with a mixer, but I do not want to break up my strawberries that way. Sorry, guys. I am a purist. <laughs> I don't know. It sounded good. I just like big chunks of, like, things, you know? It changes the texture. It gives you a little bit more depth, I feel like. I think we're good in a good place with this cake. I don't think I want to add any more oil. I don't think we need to add any more flour. It's a beautiful color. I don't know if you can see that at all or how pink it is. I'm so upset that these lights seem to be. That'll help. Let's see if that helps. Helps a little bit. Makes it a little darker in here. All right. So now. Keep going. I got one more minute at least. I don't know what this would have done had I put it in the mixer. I don't know if it's supposed to lighten it up a little bit. Um, let's see what it tastes like. That is actually really sweet. And I'm glad that I didn't use like sugar jello I told you I can't talk to you. I'm glad I didn't use jello with sugar in it I mean I realize that this sugar free has things in it and I, the other thing I question is if a 13 by 9 inch pan is going to be too big because this does not seem like I don't know. I think we're in a good place, guys. I don't want to add too much more flour or oil. I'm going to do just a dribble, and even that seems wrong. Maybe another teaspoon. So I'm at a quarter of a cup of oil instead of three quarters. And I think what we're trying to accomplish here, because we've changed so many of the ingredients, I feel like we might be okay with where we're at. I don't want it to be super, super um, uh, liquidy, because cakes aren't usually liquidy. Um, we'll see what happens when I bake it and it doesn't either uh, rise up or, um, that's the other thing I'm afraid it's going to do. Oh, I got a new coffee cup too, University of Denver. That I bought myself. Okay. So we'll see what happens. I, I'm I'm not worried that I haven't beaten enough or that the mix isn't mixed enough or that it's not gonna set because there's jello in here, people. So I'm not worried about that. I'm just worried that it's going to, I think, almost too sweet. Oh, there's a lot of cake mix on the bottom, actually. Um, too sweet for even frosting was what I was getting at. So I'm questioning whether I'm just going to mix together the strawberries with something and just pour them over top as just a, you know, fancy way to do strawberries. I mean, the cake is going to be pink, so I don't know that we need. You know what would have been awesome? I can't believe I didn't think of this earlier. Chocolate cake. With strawberry stuff? Oh, um, hello. There's so many things we could have done to this cake. And I missed, <laughs> missed my opportunity, and I'm wearing more of it than. That's so good. So, so good. Um, the other thing I recommend that if you are gluten free, there are gluten free cake mixes out there now and muffin mixes. So you could use probably anything like that. I mean, look at your cake mix, cake mix as your dry ingredients and go from there. And you can do just about 
anything with them. Cookie uh, cookie mixes too. Um, they're really great for like I used one. I made the cookies, but then I told you I poured them over or shaped them over the mini um, muffin tins and made little cookie cups and then filled them with cheesecake filling. Ridiculous. And not even like bad filling. It's all like Greek yogurt and light cream cheese and something else. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. You guys, I, I know my fruit was not that sweet. So where the sweetness is coming from in this recipe, gotta be from the um, cake mix. That's all I can say. Because the um, jello is sugar free. I mean, I know it gives off a sugary flavor, so I guess there is that. But we cut out a lot of the oil. I'm so excited. And we cut out um, the egg, which if you're a high cholesterol, word have you, helps. Whoop! As I spin the wrong direction. So very excited about putting this in the oven and then we'll get on to making some semblance of icing I'm not sure what yet guys this is what we have left as far as strawberry and most of it's like whole chunks so I'm thinking we can do figure out something for that I don't know if I'm just desperate for summer to be here or if all the fruit just smells amazing and I'm just, okay, we're going to wiggle it around just so it's a little more even. I'm trying to get a little bit of that down. Um, you know what I do have? Let's see if it's in here. Yeah. A little offset spatula because the dish is so deep. It's hard to get in there with anything. All right. Get, we need all the help we can get. I don't want to lose a single drop of this. Okay. This says 45 minutes. We'll see. We'll keep an eye on it. We'll do half an hour. Yeah, I definitely... My next step is to try this exact cake with chocolate cake because I'm a huge fan of fruit and dark chocolate especially. Okay, so we're gonna figure out something to do with our, you're supposed to put one stick of butter, one cup of strawberries, eight ounce cream cheese, uh, and three cups of powdered sugar. So maybe I'll skip the butter. I'll use my half a cup of strawberries. I'm gonna take a little bit of Greek yogurt and a little bit of sugar and we'll make just more like a, I don't know, a glaze or something. We'll figure something out. I don't want to do that because like I said, it is very, and I'm probably going to need this to spread my frosting around. All right. Or what I'm going to call frosting. But look at that. Look at how much oil we saved. Mind blowing. Okay. What have I learned? Um, well, I've learned a lot about art and um uh, going to the museum the art museum was uh i mean i've been to an art museum before but this one is so um diverse and eclectic it has so many different areas it's not just paintings it's sculptures it's um like materials or fabrics costumes um and it's all different materials it's wood it's metal it's paint, it's stone, it, it's incredible how they have it set up so these um, exhibits are of likeness. Um, they had so many beautiful things and I can't wait to share those pictures and stuff with you. Um, we visit, we got sushi, we went to Jordan's favorite sushi place. Peyton and I are the big coffee fans, so we hit as many coffee places, and she took pictures of all her coffee beverages. Um, I want to shout out to Kaladi Coffee in, um, well, there's Denver, there's Inglewood, 
Um, we went to the big roastery in Englewood. Just amazing people, and the coffee is so good. So good. It's on my top ten, I would say, for sure. Um, we also went, where else did we go? We went shopping. We went to the bookstore at DU so we could get our our official national championship hockey gear. Oh, we also went and did watched the Seniors Capstones for theater. Um, their, uh, what the senior project is for each person to graduate. They have to direct, um, pick a lighting designer, a scenic designer, a costume designer, you know, the whole nine yards. And then they're the, they're the one that puts the whole show together and Jordan um, did a lighting design for a friend and uh, so we went and saw that. And no bias whatsoever, the best one. I'm just saying. Um, the acting was great. Everybody did great. The, it was like the first time we actually got to see one in person. One, because we were so far away, and two, because pandemic. So we got to see Jordan's capstone, but it was on video, not in real life, and it does make a difference. So, um, but it was a fun time. We kept busy. Then Peyton and I went to visit um, our cousins, and their family was there, and so that we got to hang with them as well. And it was just a fun, um, kept me busy, but let me relax when I needed to. Um, we cooked together, we ate together, we sang together, we laughed, we cried, we, you know, it was the whole nine yards and it was just a visit that needed to be. Just made me feel more connected with my kids. And it has been a long time since I felt that. Even when they were here, during pandemic, it, they were just different people, and it was just not the same. And now, now that we're starting to feel more, um, I'm not going to say we're forgetting, but we're just living a little bit more openly, no, you know, no masks, uh, openly out there in the free world, so to speak. Um, trying to be somewhat aware of how close you are to someone still. That'll never go away, I don't think. That six feet, if you don't know the person, I, it's just an automatic with me now. It's a shame, but it's true. Anyway, um, what I've learned is that things, while beautiful, can be very overwhelming. I really did get too verklempt in the art museum. Um, I felt like I wasn't giving each piece its due just its due diligence, its due justice. It, it, there, everything in there was either crazy. You know, there's those weird art displays um, that are art, but sometimes you go, wait, I just threw my uh, Kleenex in the garbage can, but it felt like it could have been part of the art. I mean, I'm being exaggerative, but. I've exaggerated. Anyway. But the time there, and then, and Colorado itself, is just a peaceful place for me. And I enjoy um, looking at the mountains. Bob took us for a hike. That was awesome. E and we turned around at just the right time because the wind started picking up. And the rain started coming sideways. It was like, it picked up to like 27 miles per hour. And the rain was <laughs> coming at us like this sideways. And we were even like huddled in the um, kind of restroom area where there's this like protective wall, not for any other reason, but I guess to not get pelted with dirt and tumbleweeds. I actually have seen tumbleweeds. I would say tumbleweeds more in like Nebraska and Colorado area and tumble puffs in Iowa. They're like these little puff balls that would just blow across the road. It was so windy leaving and coming back. Um, when I left with Peyton on uh, to go see Jordan, so much fog we could not see directly in front of our faces. We had such interesting weather. Um, Jordan claimed that we brought the cold weather, which I now probably believe because we got back and it was still cold and rainy. 
We've had one day of sun since I've been back. We've only had three days of sun this this probably month worth. So April 5th to May 5th, maybe three days of sun. That's the most depressing thing ever. And what I've learned is, this is part of it, is like sun is crucial. And I know they have those lights, those sun lamps, um, which are very helpful, very helpful. But there's nothing that compares to you looking out your window or your back door or whatever it is and going, huh. So you have to make your own joy. You have to, like, it's almost crucial as a human being to be able to talk your way out of feeling like, okay, ugh. It really is a true endeavor to wake up and go, okay, it's so it's raining, big deal. I can make sunshine. So I'm hoping that's what this cake is today, is making a little sunshine. Um, we kept track of our steps, so we got a good amount of walking in. I can't say I purposefully walked like I have been here, but I will tell you the walks are way more um, beautiful. I can walk there forever, forever. There's not, there's billions of places in Colorado that I have not even come close to seeing yet. But the nature part of it is almost more important than what the weather is like. When you have a view, and when, this is what I'm telling you, when I'm looking out my back door, I see neighbor's stuff, I see my crap, and I see clouds. But in Colorado, I can see the Rocky Mountains. I can see greenery. I can see, um, for miles, mountains. Not just out my back door if I wanted, if I had the money, haha. <laughs> um, but just to take it all in can be so overwhelming, but well needed. The, um, camaraderie, which is one of the words, is why it came up, the uh, just being with um, like-minded people, being with, um, in a state that I love, and um, just appreciating where you are and what life is like, that you're still here. It, it's a beautiful day because you're still here. So that is what I've learned. It's got to be a beautiful day because I'm still here. I'm here to share it with you guys. And that to me uh, means everything. I actually missed um, letting you all know that I wasn't going to be on last week. Um, but I was just having so much time with my family that I just said, you know what, I think they'll be okay for one more week. I hope you didn't miss me that much. But to say that it was something that was well, well needed, overly needed, if you will, um, is key. So that's what I've learned. People Scenery and sunshine are three so majorly important things. People that you want to be with and that want to be with you are, are so crucial. And I'm not saying I don't want to be with people here. That's not what I'm saying. I'm just saying a, a, diff a change of scenery sometimes is more crucial so that you appreciate what you have when you come back and it is it, you do you do appreciate it whether it looks gray outside or not um it still means something so take with that what you will um it's not something I really like thought about the whole trip, but it just kind of culminated right here, right now. 
to be honest. A lot of it just was like, it just worked out of my mouth. And I've learned so many things about people that I love that there's no end to it. Trust me, as your kids get older, as you get older, we all change, whether we want to or not. And if you're not changing, that too in itself is a change. I know it doesn't feel like it, but when everyone and everything else around you is changing, are you gonna be left behind? It's stuck in, in the mindset of, okay, I don't, wanna, I don't wanna accept this, that, or the other thing. But I hate to break it to you, a lot of it is gonna happen whether you want it to or not. And I'm not talking about physical things, I'm talking about emotional things. I'm talking about spiritual things in a sense, not religion per se, but how you connect with, with anything can be a spiritual connection if you let it. Or you can just avoid it and, and it won't go away. I know, it's kind of deep, the conversation. But I want you to say, it's, I want to tell you it's good. Realizing that in order for yourself to mature and grow and become a better person, because we're all just looking to be better than we were the day before. I mean, that's my goal. I want to focus on me and getting where I need to be. So in order to do that, I feel necessary, ultimately beyond necessary, to grow, become better, become more educated become more understanding, more tolerant, more more. I guess that's about all I need to say about that, right? All right, we got 15 minutes left on our cake. I think it's doing pretty good. I'm gonna take a quick peek here. Yeah, she's wrong. Oh my goodness gracious. I just opened my oven and it smells like strawberries. Can you get that through your head? I can't. All right. So in order to make our frosting, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cheat. I'm going to just add a little bit of Greek yogurt to this. I'm going to see if I might have a little bit of light cream cheese. I have this melted oil. I might do a little bit. We'll see. And then I do have powdered sugar, but I don't want to do a lot. So what do you get out of that process? For one thing, we don't have a whole cup of the, the strawberries. So in a sense, we're not, um, hang on, well, we weren't gonna be making the full three cups of, of um, sugar and that kind of thing. Let me do the, let me do this first. Cause this is gonna replace our cream cheese. And it's supposed to be eight ounces, but I'm just gonna plop in. And I'm taking it off the top cause it's a little bit thicker than if I, um, so it would be more cream cheese-esque if I just left it without stirring it with the, the what I call the yogurt liquor. <laughs> so I think that's plenty. Again, I don't want it to taste like Greek yogurt either. So, and then we'll sweeten it up. Okay, let's see what, how we get, how we get where we need to be. And we just want it to be kind of a glaze type of thing, so maybe that's the only reason I might add a little bit of the coconut oil. But this, this is enough right here, you know? Let's see what it tastes like. Definitely sugar, but I don't think I'm gonna put any oil, if I can avoid it. There's a tablespoon in here. Because initially, it's supposed to be three cups, and I'm gonna try and get away with a couple tablespoons. And if this is as easy as it gets, why would 
do you need to do heavy cream cheese? Even then, if you wanted to do cream cheese, maybe do the white cream cheese instead. Let's see if we got enough. Go say it. No, definitely needs another. Keeping in mind that we're not only getting a sourness from the um, the Greek yogurt or a tang, but we're also getting a little bit of a sourness from the fruit itself. And I'm trying not to mess up my beautiful new sweatshirt here. Okay, so we'll do, this is tablespoon number two. It is gonna give us a little bit of a thicker consistency too, so. That'll be nice. It'll spread more like a frosting. We don't want it to be too liquidy, is the thing, you know? Because then it'll just run through the cake. Although it will make it nice and moist, I guess. I don't want to keep touching with. We're almost there. I would say one more. And then it just tastes like fresh fruit that you're putting on top of your. I do know how to make a mess, I'll give you that. Perfect. Let's see what it does for us. Yeah, I definitely don't want to add any oil. It's definitely like a... Four tablespoons as opposed to four cup, three cups. I think I'm still okay with that. Just so you know. I'm all right with it. Okay, and she's rising beautifully, and we only have about 10 minutes left, so. Tell me, like, in the comment section, let me know what you find makes your trip better. What is it that you are looking for? Are you looking for strange and wonderful sightseeing things? Are you looking to connect with people? Is scenery and nature more important than visiting like a museum or... I like to get a well-rounded visit, so... All right, I'm not doing any more. That was four and a half tablespoons. I think it's plenty. Ah, I'm stuck in the drawer. Yes, I was stuck in the drawer. Okay, guys, from down here, you can't see me. I don't know why I needed to put that away right that second. Okay, so we'll be back. We'll cover our cake. We'll have a bite. Look forward to uh, enjoying a little piece with you. I'll be back in a little bit. All right, guys. We're almost done with our first half an hour. I'm gonna say we probably need to cook it a little bit longer, but I'm not sure if it's gonna go the whole 45 minutes. So I'm gonna just check it real quick. And then I want you guys' opinions on how Jordan can keep up with cleaning. I said maybe get a housekeeper just once a month to come in and just do all the, you know, the mopping. Because he's, the schedule is crazy. So it's really hard to figure out, you know, a good way to set it up because the hours are just all over the place. So if you guys can come up with something, please put it in the comment section below because I try to give suggestions, but I'm the mom, like, hello. All right. I don't know. I think we're going to let it go a little bit longer. Let's try, what did I do, the half an hour? Let's do, let's do five more minutes. Cause I just, I don't know if it's because the texture is a little bit different because of the yogurt. I don't know. So if you guys have suggestions, that would be great. I said either that or you have to fly your mom out every two months, oh darn, <laughs> to come and clean your apartment for you. Woohoo! I like that idea the best. Um, he said, sure. <laughs> I 
don't know what kind of sure that was. I don't know if that was a good sure or bad sure, but that was the other recommendation. So we'll be back in about five minutes. Pause that whole time. I don't know what you got and what you didn't now. Wow, a little nervous. I think it was running when I was on my. Break. Woohoo! Editing! Yay! Okay. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut a little piece out. Oh, it, it shrunk up really, really interestingly. It's got a good give to it. I would say it's almost like a bread. I just want to take a little edge because I don't want to eat to the point where people notice there's a piece missing. But I guess this little piece is just not going to come out without giving me a hard time. All right, so I got this little piece. I realize it's not much, but I want to be able to cover up my, my taste test here. Yeah. I would say the little bit of oil, it is more like a bread, mine is. It's got more of a bounce to it. So I would say it's more like a strawberry bread than a cake, but if you added a little bit more oil, you could probably get more of a cake consistency. And I am gonna use this as a topping as opposed to putting it on top. Although, I might check one little section to see if that's what I want to do. Let's see if leaving it on here makes the cake soggy at all. All right, guys, I think that's it for our little experiment for today. Um, give it a try. Try different fruit. Try different cake mixes. Doesn't have to be white. I used yellow. It could be chocolate. It could be uh, coconut. It could be angel food cake. Whatever you feel, whatever your little heart desires. And with that, I want to say have a good day. Go do great things. Be your best self. And please live your best blessed life. Thanks for watching. Bye.